Okay, I just got some new babies. Have not looked at them yet. I'm gonna take them out right now, see what I'm working with. They're very young. Baby number one. Oh, they're covered in fleas. Baby number two. Poor angels. Number three. Oh, they look terrible. Number four. Number five. Well, they're all squirmy. Just the good news. The bad news is you guys are like absolutely covered in fleas. This baby's got fly eggs all over his head. I cannot stand the thought of you having these on your head for one second more. So this is the first thing I'm doing. Oh my God. Oh, look. So I'm taking a flea comb and I'm getting as much of these off as I can right now because I cannot stand it. I cannot stand that a fly laid eggs on you. These little babies came from such a rough place. One of them had already passed. And the flies are just landing on them and laying their eggs. Oh my God, you poor angel. So that's what that looks like. Little immobile clusters of like tiny grains of rice. Absolutely nasty. All right, well, when you know that there are fly eggs, you also want to make sure that there are no maggots on the baby. I haven't seen any evidence of maggots. Ugh, I gotta put my hair back. Oh my God, ugh. I swear I don't usually clean up fly egg kittens in a dress, but when I got the call about these guys, I was out. So I came right away, picked them up, and I literally just got home. I want to clean them up so badly. They are just covered in flea dirt and fly eggs. All that dark stuff is flea dirt. These poor babies, double trouble. When you look at the kitten, you might not notice that they have fly eggs on them. Looks like a little tiny grain of rice, and you're likely to see like a cluster of a bunch of those together. You know what, I'm even seeing more. The eggs can be like right against the skin, so they're sort of buried underneath the fur. Comb them out as best as you can. Once you have removed them with a comb, then you are going to wash your baby. You wanna be really careful when you're washing them. Don't dunk their head. Uh, use warm water, use either like a fragrance-free dish soap or a fragrance-free baby shampoo. Lather down to the skin on these babies to make sure that you are removing any of those fly eggs. So this bath is kind of serving three functions. One, cleaning the filth. Two, killing the fleas. And three, getting all of the nasty fly eggs off. See that? That water is running red because this baby is being eaten by all these fleas. Look. Yep. Oh my God. Get off of him. Don't dunk the head. See him. We don't want no more eggs. Go away. I'm just spot cleaning as best as I can. And then comb, comb, comb. Removing fleas and removing fly eggs is a very similar process. Really just combing and bathing and combing and bathing. Spot cleaning the head. Okay, now the nasty part all of the bugs, oh, is there, look, these are fly eggs. Okay, so like I didn't even see fly eggs on this one until I started cleaning his head because he's white, but look. Right here, this whole patch, see that? Mm -hmm. Fly eggs. So we're gonna pull that off. If it looks like this baby's head is bleeding, it's because this baby's head is bleeding from being, having their blood sucked by bugs. I know this is a really intense and sad thing to look at, but you have to deal with it. If you have a kitten 
who's crawling with bugs, you have to deal with it. And a lot of them will hide on the head, especially while you're giving them a bath because you're not dunking their head, you're protecting their head. But then all the bugs run up onto the head and go, uh-oh, breaks your heart. I always use like these little dish sponges, the soft ones, and then you can just cut them into small pieces. Oh, it's so satisfying to get them clean. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Flea? Wow. Oh my God. Poor angel. You're okay. This little jerk. Bye. One day you will be a beauty queen. One day you will be the most beautiful little dilute calico. She looks like Friar Tuck right now though. Listen, this is gonna be a beauty queen. <laughs> This baby is covered. You are going to be sparkly and white when I'm done with you, my friend. Oh my God, look at all that. That is just horrific. Poor babies being eaten alive by bugs. Like literally having their blood sucked flies laying eggs on them. This is all blood. You are supposed to be white. Yeah, you're not supposed to be red. Ooh, we are going to make you so beautiful. These are some of the worst fleas I've ever seen. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, baby. Look at this baby. Crawling. Absolutely crawling. Get off of them! I mean, this is really, oh my God. You poor angel, I know. This is the last of that. Never gonna have to go through that again. Never, ever, ever spay and neuter the cat in your community. Please and thank you. Do you have any fly eggs? Trust me, I'm ready to be done with this too. I didn't plan on spending my Saturday night cleaning eggs off of a bunch of kitten heads. The other thing that you might want is to use either Capstar or Revolution. Before you give any cat or kitten medication, you want to talk to a veterinarian. You want to get something from your vet, get a prescription that is um, dosed properly for what your cat or kitten needs and you want to make sure that it's safe for kittens. Um, these are two things that uh, I have been recommended to use by my veterinarian. Um, this one is Capstar and Capstar is not just for fleas, it also helps for those fly eggs and even you know if they have maggots, Capstar is going to help. Um, it's something that's given orally or it can also be given as a suppository. Talk to your vet about dosing. When you're working with a little tiny newborn kitten, it's a very small dose. So you're gonna have to cut that pill into several pieces. Um, then there's Revolution. This is not just like any other flea med that you're gonna get at the store. This is a prescription. So talk to a vet about prescription Revolution. Um, this one is designed for kittens under five pounds. And this is something that you know, you wanna be cautious about um, how you use it with your little babies. But with these kittens, I'm putting literally one drop uh, of the Kitten Revolution on the back of each of their necks. And that just gives them some additional protection, um, you know, not just from the bath. So bath first, drop of Revolution. If you've gotten it from your veterinarian, make sure it's for kittens and make sure you've talked to a vet about it. You gotta be real careful with these little ones. They're very sensitive, but we also wanna make sure they're not gonna have any more of those problems because that was just honestly devastating to watch. Oh, it's so nice that they're so soft and clean. One little drop, one drop, rub it in. You're not gonna have no more nasty buggers. 
Yay, babies! Everybody's clean, everybody ate. Now I can exhale for a moment. Good job, little ones. Good job. Mmm.